I've heard mixed reviews about ROG Ally, but then I was like, I'll really never know if it's gonna be my thing unless I actually try it myself. The first thing I'm seeing is the box, which looks stunning. It's very compact and aesthetic, which is really what I like. I feel like the outer package can tell a lot about how thoughtful they were with this console, but these visuals and aesthetics may not necessarily mean that it offers great performance, so let's see. I gotta say though, it's very nicely designed and simply looks beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite things about ROG Ally, which is its overall design. The buttons feel fine when I click them, but then the sticks kind of feel more on the looser end and limsier compared to like an Xbox controller, which is not what I expected, but let's test it first. I'm not a fan of the back buttons though. I feel like they're a little bit distracting and extra. It's just not my thing, especially that the console is already bulky and this is just making it even bulkier. It's just really refreshing to see that they didn't just put it in a random plastic cover. It's not heavy, but kind of on the bulkier side, so it will probably take me time until I can adjust to it. There is this sticker on the charger, which is like the logo, which is fine, but it got damaged even before I opened it, and that's kind of disappointing. It's a nice addition, but then I don't really see the point if it gets damaged easily. So it comes with this stand, which, um, let's put it this way, it's useful and doesn't look bad. Yeah, I do think it's a thoughtful design, but it looks cheap. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like a paper stand that I would only keep until I get a better one. I just wouldn't want this to be part of my setup in the long run, though. This is weird, but it's my first time getting a device that I needed to plug in because it was out of battery. It looks like it's draining battery even when it's turned off, which is really interesting. Honestly, the RGB lights is one of my favorite things about this console. Another aspect about it that I really like too is that it runs Windows because that means it will offer a wider selection with a bunch of gaming apps and at the same time it won't take that much time for me to get used to. It also has a fingerprint sensor which is really cool and convenient. Before I even start playing any game, I'm gonna change my wallpaper. Honestly, one of the things that I always make sure to do is customize any new device I have. I want something with like more of a gaming vibe, so I'm gonna apply this because I just love it and it's full HD, so it's perfect. In the game library, I downloaded a bunch of games, but first, let's check some apps, like Xbox and Steam. I personally like Steam more than Game Pass, only because most of the games that I really like are not included in Game Pass. So it's just really not the best option for me if I'm using two or three games out of the whole selection that they have. 
in the command center, I'd say the two main things that I want to mention are the operating and control mode. Depending on the mode, it will be better performance, but the fan will be louder and obviously it will drain the battery way faster. And then for the control mode, I'll just leave it to auto unless I need to manually change it if it doesn't change to gamepad when I run a game. I really like Hi-Fi Rush. The visuals and colors are just amazing, especially with like the rhythm focus theme, which is, makes it even more interesting. Reminder, to compensate for added Project Armstrong flow, a new day of the week was added. This is huge! It's more like a city.
broken ammo. Thanks. Uh, I'm hit. I need some shotgun ammo. Thanks. Let me know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.